What we've got here is a WatchGuard XTM26 firewall. I just picked this up for a site. Uh, need a little better security. Currently using a uh, Linux-based firewall, which is fine. Um, but they deal with some public entities, and those public entities want to a name brand firewall that they know they can trust. Uh, so we picked them up one of these watch guards. We're going to install this in the next few days. Let's open it up. Uh, this is just the XTM. This is not the wireless unit that was not necessary for this specific site, but they do have this uh, available in a wireless unit as well. If you get the watch guard services you get one year of support which is kind of nice when you're setting these up just in case you run into any issues if you've done a lot of them it's really not that necessary but um, it's nice for you it's nice for the customer if you need to get the thing set up right so they give you a license um, for that and at the end of the year they'll ding you again if you want to keep it for the next year the device will still work as a firewall even if you don't keep that support though Got interrupted there, so we've got hardware guides. Advertising for all their other stuff. Um, we got a quick start guide. I've gone through these before. They're actually, they're pretty good. This is the actual device. Not much to these things. The first time I got a little firewall like this, I was kind of disappointed. You spend a lot of money and you get a teeny little box like this. Uh, but the watch guards are pretty good. I put them up there with the Pixes, uh, Cisco Pix, that type of firewall. They're decent. Um, you can do multiple addresses on these. They're, they're nice. Um, they're nice devices. Uh, with each one of these included is some adapters for different uh, countries. Your European, all that kind of stuff. European, other country things. You got three prongs, the UK style ones. Uh, something I don't love about these are the bricks. I just don't like bricks. They're awkward, they're hard to find places to plug in, they suck up a lot of space, but if you're out of the US and you need to plug this into your specific network, you just pop that off, and pop the new one in. So if you're in Iceland, that's gonna work for you. I believe this is UK, pops in. All there is to it. little cable management deal I guess and a network cable so that's all there is in the box uh, watch guard is a pretty good firewall I haven't had any major problems with them they're not horribly expensive this was I believe about 530 maybe dollars 540 dollars after the taxes uh, pretty good device thanks for watching